Hey, what's going on? So uh, my office is a complete mess right now because I am in the middle of moving. But aside from moving, super excited. We got uh, Hyper Wheels from Windspace and we're gonna be unboxing these today. We're gonna be getting them set up and then I'm going to be doing a full review breakdown on what I think of these. These are a hot topic right now on the market. Um, I don't know what it is. They are. Apparently they are very stiff, uh, very light. They're very comparable to like Envy and whatnot, Envy's, uh, Revolves. I mean, there's a lot of wheels that they've been rivaling and people are really pumped on them right now. So I did jump on the train. Uh, I got a pair and we're gonna see what all this hype is about. Okay, let's talk about them. First impression, taking them out of the box, they are super light. Really surprised with how light they feel. Uh, I'm gonna have to go throw them on a scale and get some legit weights on them. But uh, kind of first impression, wicked light. The other thing I really dig is the raw carbon look. So, you know, usually what wheel manufacturers will do is they'll have that raw carbon look, but they'll kind of put something over it to kind of just make it blend a little bit better and not look as much like this rawness where you can see the weaves and stuff like my CLX 50s and 32s. You can barely see the weave in the carbon, but for overall, they're pretty, you know, pretty just straight up kind of uh, covered up. But this one, they left them completely raw looking and which I think is awesome. You can actually see the weave in it and the way the sun hits it really makes it pop and reflect. On top of that, these spokes are actually carbon spokes. Uh, I've heard a lot about why they would use carbon spokes. So one thing is with the carbon spokes, you actually, I think you save two to three grams per spoke or something like that, but you do save some weight overall per spoke when using carbon spokes. The second thing is carbon spokes are actually incredibly stiff. Um, lots of people complain about the lateral stiffness of wheels. I know when I had Zip 404s, the lateral stiffness on them kind of sucked. You had to get the hubs just right so they wouldn't flex as much. And um, I, I just didn't like the zips for that reason. These are supposed to be super stiff in uh, lateral stiffness. So basically, if you're gonna go forward, they're just gonna go forward. They're not gonna go side to side and wasting any energy. So I'm excited to test that out. And the other thing that I have heard really good things about them is they spin up crazy fast um, and part of that is also due to the carbon spokes so uh, I hear they spin up as quickly or feel as quickly as a shallow box rim kind of like my CLX 32s so I'm excited to test that out as well now before uh, before I give you a full-on review about what I think about these hyper wheels I uh, I'm gonna go weigh them out and uh, I'm gonna get them set up and I'm gonna go ride them I'll kind of give you just my first uh, little impression about them. That is all you're going to get today is just first impressions. I'm not going to basically be like, yeah, buy these or don't buy these today. Um, basically, I'm just going to give you my first impressions on them and then I'm going to go take them out and I'm going to test them for a solid month and uh, just kind of use them and all my training and stuff and see what I think of them. And then uh, we're also going to compare them to the CLX 50s and we will compare them to the CLX 32s in regards to just kind of feel of a, a deep, uh, deep rim versus a shallow rim. Now these are 50 millimeter rims. So these are going to be very comparable to my CLX 50s. But again, they're a little bit different. They're not as wide. I've noticed they're a little bit on the narrower side, but uh, I'm super excited to check them out. And they're not disc brakes, they're rim brakes. So I'm excited to see how that rim brake track feels too, because carbon rims, you never know what the tracks are gonna feel like. So I'm gonna check that out too. Anyways, these are a cheap, affordable option. I believe they come in at around 1100 bucks. And uh, on top of that too, I also have a 10% off code 
I can share with you guys. So let's dive into the accessories that came in the box. Uh, one thing they send that I think is super cool is right here, you can see they send extra carbon spokes. Uh, so, you know, if you were to break one or something, which honestly I've heard that they haven't had any issues with that on these wheels at all, but they send you three extra spokes just in case something was to happen. So if you, were to, if you were to break one or something like that, man, super simple, go to a bike shop and just give them the spokes right there. And all you gotta do is have them relace them up and, and true them and you're all good to go. That's super convenient. You know, you're gonna save money on that. The other thing they include obviously is skewers. Uh, I don't know how well these skewers are and I, I haven't tried them out yet, but we're gonna test those out to you. Uh, I, I usually have been using zip skewers on my wheels just because I kinda, they're a little bit lighter. Uh, they work a little bit better. But we're going to try these out to you and see how these skewers match up. But overall, my first impressions are, I mean, if I didn't know that they cost $1,100, I wouldn't, I wouldn't second guess that they were like $2,500 wheels. They're solid. Uh, I mean, there's really nothing, there's nothing for me to complain about so far. The only real thing I've noticed, uh, they are, definitely thinner like they're not as wide they're narrower that's what they are they're narrower you know so that's just different looking at uh but my only and that that hub is really loud the only other thing that i have to say about them though is like crosswinds like maybe they're not as stable as my revol clx 50s but right now first impressions are pretty good braking solid i got I got really nothing to complain about, like nothing at all. So uh, we're gonna have to test them for a month at least just to really get a better understanding of what they are like. But uh, overall, first impressions are good so far. Let's get back to the house and then just debrief a little bit more. Yo, wardrobe change and on top of that, this is a totally different scenery. Uh, as you said in the beginning of this video, I am in the middle of moving and now I am moving into my new office. Um, but to recap just where we were with these, you know, overall, I think it's a solid wheel set um, to get. Uh, would I recommend buying it right off the bat? You know, I still want to do some solid testing on them first before I can like fully give my stamp of approval. But honestly, up to this point, there's really nothing about them that I was disappointed about. Um, one thing is I did mention they're a little bit less stable on the crosswinds. But again, I think that is only because uh, the carbon bladed spokes are actually pretty thick. So they're going to catch a little bit more wind. Um, but it's not like they're crazy unstable or anything like that. I just noticed that there was a little bit more play in it uh, when you hit crosswinds compared to like the Revolves. But again, the Revolve spokes aren't as thickly bladed as these carbon spokes. Um, outside of that, I mean, that, that front wheel is, it's fast, it screams, it, uh, it cuts through there nicely. But otherwise, uh, I'm gonna keep, keep riding them and keep checking them out, and I will uh, totally let you know what my thoughts are on that. So if you are interested in them, I do have a quick little code that you can use to get 10% off. I think it pretty much saves on shipping, which is like Chaz, Chaz 10 will give you 10% off. Um, but as of right now, I don't hate them and uh, I still need to do more testing to see if I fully love them. So we'll dive into that. Anyways, as always, keep riding and training hard and I will see you guys on the next video.